Well, I think, I think finest people uh, is just a little bit above uh, one of its finest golfers. He always had the golf game. The thing that I love about him, and I do love it about him, my wife and I and our kids and our grandkids, he put my wife uh, in her first set of golf clubs. He's taught my grandson how to play golf. He's taught my daughter how to play golf. Uh, there's three generations in my family that have been introduced to golf by Mo Demling. Um, I, I don't have a brother, but if I could pick one, it would be Mo Demling. When, when they were young and you know you had your Santa Claus gifts, from your children so they can't find them. When I go to get some out, they'd be gone because somebody at the golf course had lost their job and they had to have toys for their kids so we could replace ours, so he took them. I, I'd go to the freezer sometimes and the meat would be gone. A lot of the meat would be gone. I think, where did it go? Well, so-and-so's out of work and you know, he's got these kids and he's gotta feed these kids. So, you know, that, that just tells you what he's all about. Well, I mean, one thing about Mo's personality is um, it, it's the same with everybody. He's, uh, that's the, one of the things I've always admired the most about him is that he treats everybody the same. Um, he's just uh, a very kind person and very generous, and it's, it's, uh, it comes across in everybody that he meets. I guess my longevity and uh, being able to, to stay around as long as I have and to keep promoting and teaching golf especially junior golf. And then also for my, you know, my kids are into also golf pros a long run, but they've taken it up the, uh, the charge and they, they enjoy teaching and it's good to see them bring kids along. The main thing he's taught me would be, I'd say not necessarily in golf, but um, remembering people. I mean, he remembers every single person and he like knows every single person by face and by name. And, it's kind of something he's taught me to like remember the people because you know, you're going to see them more than once and kind of have an established relationship with everyone that you meet. He does a great job of doing that. He's taught me how to be personable. He's just, he's always been very good with people and I think that's one thing that I've learned from him that I'm never going to forget and I'm always going to carry with me the rest of my life. Well, it's interesting because um, I think a lot of younger people know him as a, a great teacher and a golf pro in the Louisville community. But his career has spanned so long and he's done so much uh, in the golf world. He was a phenomenal player. Um, he's done lots of, of course, lots of teaching. He's been innovative in some of the methods he's used to teach. Um, and he's also done a lot of golf course improvement type things. Um, we have lots of proof of that, lots of pictures of him with chainsaws and, and um, everything you can imagine. The thing that stands out the most about my dad as a golfer is just his ability to share the game with others as a teacher. Um, he just truly really loves it, and so I think that he has this way of getting people to uh, to see more than just the, the competing part of it, but the whole life skills part of it and the possibilities that golf gives you, the connection. So I think that's the thing to me that stands out the most is he presents golf in just a big universal way. I think people would like to know really who he is, and uh, he is probably the most genuine person you'll ever be around. If you could say you've known Mo Demling for 50 years and watched him day in and day out, uh, put clubs in, in kids' hands, give free instruction to kids along the way, uh, he introduced more people to golf than I think anybody that I know. And he's, he has a love for the game, he honors the game. Uh, it, it's, it, it's something that I think the influence he's had on so many people in golf, in this community and further, further away, uh, he belongs in the Hall of Fame. He belongs, he belongs there and he, he deserves that recognition. It's the investment of his time and his passion. I don't know, I just want to say, you know, I'm, I'm really proud of my father. He is, he would give, if you gave him a dime, he'd give a nickel to somebody else. He's a very, very giving, very generous person. Honors like this are things he doesn't seek out in any way, and sometimes he's even uncomfortable receiving them. So I'm very happy for him that he has this opportunity because it's well deserved. And we just wanted to be able to do this for him because um, it's not something that he would have ever thought about asking for or wanting. And um, so I'm just glad that this is that he's getting honor tonight and uh, to be recognized for all that he's done for the game.